everybody. Welcome to our Difference Maker Movement chats. I have a very special friend and guest today. Her name is Jacqueline Bodding, and she's from Wise Tribe. And she has this very special, special initiative that she's going to talk to us about and a mission that she just is launching. So Jacqueline, welcome. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you very much to, um, to the Office Depot Foundation for having me on um, the chat. I'm really excited to be here and excited to share more about what Wise Tribe is, is doing. Well, thank you. And I know that this is really very, very, I think very innovative, collaborative, and quite frankly, you've, you put a mission out there for yourself, you set a goal, mm -hmm. and I think you have some exciting news to share too. Yeah. So could we just start, and let's just start from the beginning. You, okay. um, what is Wise Tribe and what are you trying to do? So Wise Tribe is an education nonprofit, and our mission is really to develop relationships and communities through collaborative learning experiences that lead us to a wiser world. And so what we do is we really focus on bringing multi-generational conversations to life, as well as people from diverse backgrounds, so that we're taking people out of what might be their normal uh, social settings and bringing a lot of diversity to the conversations to get people thinking about what is the world that we want to create and how can we take actions together in our local communities to actually bring these things to life. So really bringing um, collaborative efforts together and really kind of getting a viewpoint from everybody. Absolutely. You know, really sharing our wisdom with one another so that we you know, move beyond sort of the individual mm -hmm. benefits and then what is sort of the collective benefits that can be had when we come together using our imagination, sharing our dreams with one another, and then our knowledge and our wisdom. So I saw a video just recently about something that you just uh, were able to raise the funds for. So could you share a little bit about that? Sure. So our latest project is actually related to a new technology. It's called FarmBot. And FarmBot is this remarkable um, automated technology that allows somebody to grow food completely in an automated fashion. What it, what it is is it basically um, is a hardware that sits over a flower bed and there's a, more or less a robot that would go over the top of the flower bed and do all of the growing, the gardening, the weeding, the watering, uh, measuring the pH of the soil so that you really do not need to get involved with any of the inconvenient aspects of growing your own fresh foods. So the technology is very cool, but what we've done is we've acquired it so that we can give it to a high school and then give scholarship funds to students so that they can study this technology and see how they can expand it and scale it so that it could actually feed an entire neighborhood. And then eventually it could probably feed an entire nation. Absolutely. This is one of the things in terms of um, when we think about robots, you know, there's a lot of fear that they're going to take our jobs. And I would say that there are true and real concerns about how they will impact us as a society and a culture. But there's another side to the benefits that we're going to get from robotics. And this is a perfect example of how we will have an abundance of fresh foods because there's, they're constantly there sort of in an incredibly efficient way growing these foods without having to sort of um, deal with sort of maybe the, the heavy workload that humans have dealt with in the past. So it's... Well, from watching the video too, I saw it goes seven days a week. It goes all the time. It's a, it's perf it perfectly aligns how much exact water. And what I also <laughs> saw was that, you know, yes, it could go into deprived neighborhoods, but what about those neighborhoods where you have senior citizens that just aren't capable of, of perhaps having the abilities um, of being able to do that kind of work um, and or um, dis dis disabled neighborhoods where um, that is just not the ability to do that. that I, is I think endless possibilities Endless are. possibilities and that's both of those are such beautiful ideas and that is um, exactly what we're trying to do with Wise Tribe is how do we take younger generations, you know, high school level students who are interested in innovating on the technology and moving that innovation into sort of our social spheres, into our neighborhoods so that we can start to address social challenges. You know, how do we make sure that um, younger people and older people are coming together because there is sort of this epidemic of mm -hmm. loneliness and sort of um, a sense of massive disconnection. So if we can bring uh, diverse generations and cultures together to start solving problems, you know, using something like FarmBot as our 
um, anchor project, that's really what we're looking to do, is build those relationships and build communities through active collaborations that solve problems in our local neighborhoods and communities. And um, just being the person to make sure, um, I would like to just say you could connect the dots because once that product is produced, that those, those that, that vegetables, whatever it is that you're growing, right. to be able to have the disabled or be able to have the, um, the elderly, then they could, I mean, you could really, they could have products from that. that absolutely. I mean, there's a whole thing that you could do from that. That's, that's absolutely, um, <coughs> you know, it is really sort of limitless in terms mm -hmm. of the possibilities. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, the times that we're living in right now are very exciting because it's almost as if we have all of the technology to truly change the world. And now it's um, a period of time where we get to come together and think through how we're going to rewrite exactly the way that we do things so that people are not without food or people are not without meaningful connections to to other um, right. people who are you know dealing with the same challenges and I think a lot of people have said you know the Millennials are about you know uh, they want instant uh, you know instant uh, gratification they want instant reaction they want instant and I would offer that I think that's anybody I think yeah. anybody wants to see that when you invest in an, or, in an organization or in something, you want to see impact. This comes right. down to impact, passion, and being able to see that there's a, a result. Right. And um, this is about innovation. Right. This is really about creating something for your future and with kids that down the road that they can really limit and open their minds. Absolutely, it's a perfect example of what's possible mm -hmm. um, and we're really excited about um, you know, creating mentorship relationships with young high school students and engineers, inventors, um, do-it-yourself um, enthusiasts or sort of garage hackers so that they can really think through you know, creating solutions to local food challenges. And, and you were able to raise all the money for this. In your yeah, year, so we're, congratulations. Thank you very much. We're really excited about that. We've raised $5,000 and it allowed us to get um, our first farm bot but we're actually looking to uh, raise more funds so that we can get more farm bots to create a network. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. So if anybody wants to find out more about your organization or they want to find out about more, um, how they can um, find out about their school or, or mentorships or anything regarding that, how do they do that? Well, they would visit us at wisetribe.us. So that's www.wisetribe.us. And I want to thank I want to thank you, Jacqueline, so much for being a part of this uh, chat today. I, this makes a huge part of what we are about. This is really about being a difference maker. And for all of you out there, please, please take the time. These are unique opportunities about being a difference maker. And we have launched our difference maker movement. So please go to the Office Depot Foundation at www.officedepotfoundation.org and start to hear and see. All those lovely people, organizations, and most of all, difference makers that every day um, make a difference for us. Thank you.